Alright guys, so I'm back for another episode of Full Lock Garage. And on this episode, I am inside my trailer. I figured I would do a trailer truck check with work on the trailer. Um, because there's shit to be done. So, now that I've ran out of mounting bolts, go figure. We got a tire rack mounted. I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, it seemed like the lag bolts were actually stripping out as I was putting them in. Because I'm pretty sure lag bolts are meant for wood. Not steel. My bad. Um, whoops. But they don't make fucking sheet metal screws big enough for this. So, I'm using these. It works. Uh, let's see. My truck. So, in my last episode, I said I drove a OBS Ford 7.3 liter F250. Well, I was not lying. Here it is, my messy ass truck that I still need to clean out. Um, so when I bought this thing, the transmission was trashed. Uh, still is, but I'm saying fuck it and pulling my trailer anyways. Uh, like I said, it's a 7.3 liter power stroke turbo diesel, big ass turbo up top, and completely stock other than that with a bunch of like electrical tape melted to the block. You know, it's a Ford thing. So, we're gonna get to fucking work. And I still need to make a strap hook. Um, I also need to go get screws. I will probably do that tomorrow and continue this video. Um, but we are going to haul a car today. And you guys are gonna watch that because you have nothing better to do in life than watch my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. What I've done, hooked up the hook here. That is mounted to the steel. Well, I don't know the top one is, but I know the bottom one is. And then on this one, both of them are mounted to the steel. So, now we're gonna hook this thing up like so. And then it's gonna go straight to there. And then tighten down and tighten the tires. All right, so I might've gotten a little ahead of myself. Um, didn't realize that I had gotten as far as I did until just now. So, I now have an E-Track on this wall. An E-Track right there for the toolbox. I have another strip of E-Track that's gonna go on that wall there. But uh, my mom accidentally ran over my Dremel and that's what I'm using to cut the E-Tracks. So, we'll see if I can get another one and get this in tonight. If not, oh well, tomorrow. Um, this is done, strapped down. I think I showed you guys that already. Um, still throwing in self tappers in here. Essentially what I'm having to do is mount it and then cut these slats, these here, with a pocket knife to get uh, that to fit flush. So it's almost done. Then I get to go pick up a Lexus GS400, I think is what they're called, LS400, yeah. With the 1UZ and all that shit. And we're gonna load it in here and see how it goes. All right, so try to ignore the lead whacking in the distance. Thanks, Nick. Um, so far, I have gotten these pieces reconnected. Uh, it's just zip tied on. The bumper ends zip tied. Um, the front of the bumper is bolted on this time so that it doesn't fly off. The side skirts are bolted, except for the back. I've jacked the back up, take the rear wheels off and then throw a self tapper in there. Wing is back on. And I think I need to clean up some of the wires underneath the dash because they're kind of a mess. Maybe just zip tie them. I don't think I'll loom them or anything like that. But other than that, uh, all that's left is I need to get a U-pipe. This is what I was talking about. Uh, so this is kinked 
is not allowing flow to go through it, so I need to get a pipe that actually has a U in it. I bought one, but it was the wrong size, so I have to get another one. And then, oh shit, um, we can throw the hood back on and test fit it in the trailer. I was just test fitting the top of my wing here, right here, on where the bottom of this rack is. So right here is literally a half inch taller. So what I'll probably do is up here I trim this. I just used a pocket knife. Um, I'll probably just trim it up a little bit further and then mount it flush with this here because it'll be going right here. Wait, so it'll start here and go to right here. And then I'll just mount it above this so this way there's no interference with the wing because those tires sit down a little bit past it and I don't want to run the risk. Other than that, we're doing good so far. Uh, I need to get new piece trimmed up and uh, yeah, see how my trailer, uh, I do. Everything fits in here. Cool. Also, I took the trim pieces off uh, when it was getting painted, or when it, I was planning on having it painted, uh, but now I need a new windshield, and paint should come after that. But I also want to make over fenders for this um, before I have it painted because I don't want somebody to paint over this shit. Yeah. In case you were wondering, there's some body damage there. Granted, that's where it sits, and there's a hole that you can see the ground through. So, I want to run an over fender, like a S13 or an S14. I'll make my own out of clay. Or I'll make a mold out of clay, and then we'll get that set up. But, while we're talking about trim, I got sidetracked. Uh, trim's all painted up. Should be good to put back on. Uh, was chrome. I don't like chrome trim, especially not on this car. It doesn't look right, to my opinion. I need to fix the T-top trim, but we'll get to that later. All right, trim is back on. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it up here because it's dumb and doesn't go back on because I lost the clips because I'm retarded. So, I have three more tires uh, for the rear uh, drift spares to put on and oh fuck I really don't want to tackle that wiring mess I also need to take it for a drive and see if my coolant sensor is bad or if it's the actual gauge or the whatever I don't know I just don't know guys um I'm hungry I'm gonna f eat food I'm gonna food all right so remember that car I was saying we we're coming to pick up well jump to it getting stuck probably all right, all right calm yourself stop oh by the way this is the owner of What's said that? lexus sc yes. no ls ls 400, 400. yeah LS 400. so now we're gonna go drop this car off in fucking bum fuck egypt egypt yeah let's do it Let's see if he fucks up my trailer. God, that's loud. Thank God we have that Toyota piece of shit out of my car. Yep. Get some garbage out. <laughs> it's out! It's fucking delivered! The next day, um, the truck did great hauling the trailer all the way up. Uh, it was like 120, 140 mile an hour round trip. So the car or the truck and the trailer should be do great tomorrow. Now we're just down to the car. So. I'm going to start getting work on the car. This is the next day. I think I already said that. Don't give a shit. Anyways, 
Um, yeah. Let's get started working on the car. Anyways, that's the end of this video. So, take it easy, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ask me shit. Because why not?